Hello FlossTube, Dina here. I am going to do a video today about two fully finished objects, my Stitch Mania progress, and give you an idea of my future plans. This piece you're looking at right now is my anniversary piece that says United in Marriage. It is my lavender and lace that you've seen me work on called the Bride and Groom. And I wanted you to see it framed before I wrap it and hide it from my husband since it's our anniversary present. Um, I wanted you to see this frame. Is that beautiful? My local frame shop is run by an artist. Her name is Marla. And when I brought this piece in for her to help me frame, she said, I have the perfect frame in mind. She said it is a soft gold. It has a beautiful... Um, filigree. You will not even need a mat. And I think she's right. I don't think I needed it. And so I'm thrilled with the um, results of this one. This is my second fully finished object for today. Here is the apple harvest. It is completed. I wanted you to get to see these colors up close. These, these beautiful variations were accomplished by using four different blended colors. But I just think they have a beautiful, beautiful effect. And the way that I finished it, I'll set it down where you can see it, is a serving tray. Isn't that different? This serving tray was made to house cross stitch. It's a Sutterberry House serving tray to display your needlework. It's an um, out of Old Lom, Connecticut, I guess, is where Sud Sudbury House is. These were the actual framing instructions that I used in order to frame my needlework once I was finished with it, and I'll hold it up again. Hopefully, there we go, to get the glare off of it. <laughs> anyway, this is my second fully finished object uh, for this month. When I started the clown for Stitch Mania, this is how far I got the first day. Now I'd like to show you what has become one of my whips. This was a start during Stitch Mania. It is going to be a Christmas present, and I am making good progress on it I think. I stitched on it for the day to start it and then I've stitched on it um, again since then for a couple of days and so this is the progress that I've made on this piece. I've gotten most of the kind of gray color in the hair done and I've gotten almost all of the green. Uh, there's a green, uh, it's DMC 500 that are the specs um, that are supposed to be the polka dots and there's a little bit of it in the hair as well So I've got that just about finished and I can move on to another color, but I think this is coming along pretty well um, I'll be glad um, To get this done as well Here is the picture of Firefly Fairies, which was one of my starts for Stitch Mania This is how far I got the first day I worked on it when I started it for Stitch Mania. The last whip I want to share with you is Firefly Fairies, the lavender and lace pattern, that I started the first day of May for Stitch Mania. It was my first of five starts. I also was using it for the Magical May Sal that went from May 1st to 14th. And now you can see, working on it since then, I've added to that um, through the 14th. I was only able to work on it a couple of times because it was Stitch Mania and I was starting my other four starts. <laughs> Here's another one of the five starts that I did for Stitch Mania. This is Sleeping Beauty. And this I did as a stitch along as well with Kate. This fabric I did want to share with you is 28 count Joblin and the colorway is Stormy Skies. Okay, now I'd like to share with you a little bit of haul. 
This is my Chatelaine by Martina Weber. It's Alpine Seasons Garden. Let me see if I can get the phone to focus a little better. It's having a hard time. That's it. That's it. And I've been kidding this up for a little while. So I want to share with you what I have. This is the fabric. This is a platinum 32 count. And I have it ready to go for my Chatelaine. These are some of the treasures and beads. So these are the Swar Swarovski, I think is how you say them, crystals. You can hear my puppy dog whining in the background. I'll show you what she's doing. She wants to be in Mama's lap. <laughs> anyway, these are the crystals that go with the Chatelaine and the Petite Treasure Braid. And then here are my DMC colors. All kitted up, ready to go. And here are all of the beads. These are various colors. Um, here, I just have them put together and then I'll store them after I'm finished. Here are the Karen Water Lilies um, that I have, the two that I have to, for the Chatelaine. This is uh, Antique Brass. They're beautiful. And this is Rose Quartz. And the colors are showing up very, very well. But the reason that I decided to share this with you today is I got in the last piece that I needed to kit up the Chatelaine, and I haven't even unboxed it yet. These are my additional threads that I needed. These are my Gloriana silks. So it's hard to open these one-handed, so bear with me. There we go. I wanted to share these with you. So hold on a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, I have them out of the bag now. I wanted to spare you some of that crinkling. And I do have multiples of some of the colors. For instance, this is Antique Taup, Princess Pearl Petite. Petite, sorry. There's that one. And then this is Cottage Woods. Um, it's also 100% silk, and I have three of these, but I'll just pick up one to show you, see if we can get the colors. Look at that. Beautiful, kind of green and a little bit of tan brown in there. I have three of those. Four, actually. Then I have one of these. This is Sable. And this one is Sierra Hayes. You can actually see a little bit of the purpley blue in there. And these two are Wood Pond. Isn't that beautiful? And they're showing up very, very well. So I now have all of the threads I need to start my Chatelaine. And I have a date in mind to begin. And that date is for a sow, a specialty stitch sow, and it starts on July 22nd. So I wanted to go ahead and show you this because that's what I'll be doing um, for that sow. And this was my uh, bit of haul that I've been pulling together over several months. I ordered a little bit at a time as I could afford it. So I'm looking forward to starting it. Okay, plans moving forward. This is one of my five starts as well, Beach Babies, and I had a good start on it. The entire sky up at the top I got done for that start. So my plans include working more on this whip and getting you know it into my rotation. I'm going to continue working on Firefly Fairies as part of my rotation, and I'm also going to um, put back in the rotation, the um, Smoky Mountain Christmas into the rotation. 
there's a couple of other um, spots there. One will be for the clown. And then I have another spot. And I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do there. I have a few Christmas presents that I might need to get started on. And I also um, I substituted my Sleeping Beauty, which will go into my rotation. And I substituted it for another um, pattern that I was going to be doing in Stitch Mania. And it is a Mirabilia. And it is Ashley's Roses. So it's kitted up and ready to go. And I may wind up starting it in the next month, just depending on how that rotation goes. I want to thank you all for watching today. Thank you for my subscribers. I'm just having such a wonderful time watching all of your videos. And I'm sorry that I'm not on camera today, but I've had a bit of an incident. I'm not sure what got into my eye, but something flew into my eye last Friday, or I'm sorry, this past Monday, today's Friday, and um, it got under my contact and irritated my eye quite a bit, and the next morning I wound up at the eye doctor, and three visits later, and three prescriptions later, I can tell you that I have gouged a hole in the cornea of my right eye. I don't recommend it, it's not fun, it's been very uncomfortable, uh, downright painful in fact. My eye is swollen still, my vision has been affected. Um, it should all clear up soon. I will have probably a permanent scar, but hopefully not one that will harm my eyes. The good news, I'm sure all of you are wondering, is that with excellent uh, glasses and my mag eyes or my magnifying lamp, I can see clear enough to stitch, so I will get to stitch, but um, the first day I could not. I, my eyes were so light sensitive, I was sitting in an absolutely dark room with sunglasses on and still very uncomfortable. So rather than subject you to seeing me today with an eye almost swollen shut, I have elected to stay off of camera, so I hope you'll forgive me for that, but I just wanted to uh, let you share with me these wonderful finishes that I had and the work that's in progress. And I think a lot of you that uh, have seen me on Facebook um, may know that I have a new stitching buddy who I showed you just briefly a few moments ago trying to crawl in her mama's lap. But at the end of this, I'm going to attach video of her in her first couple of days with us getting acquainted to our home and our yard and uh, she found a chipmunk in the backyard and has been chasing that chipmunk ever since. So I hope you'll find it uh, will make you smile. And this is my new little one and her name is Sweet Pea. And I'll have her at the end of the video for you. And until next time, happy stitching. Hello there, Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea, how are ya? What you doing? <laughs> Here's Sweet Pea, jumping right into the driver's seat as soon as the van door was open. <laughs> he jumps right in. watching her. She hears the bird.
know. Okay, there she is down there. Hello there. <laughs> Hello. You go find that chipmunk. You go find him. Go find that chipmunk. What's daddy doing walking through the bushes? Hello, beautiful. Hello. <laughs> Sweet Pea and I say thank you very much for watching. Happy stitching.